Hello and welcome to a wire wizard review of the Unify Enterprise Wi-Fi system. This is the next generation of Wi-Fi access point. <coughs> Usually they're sold in a packet of three and they come in a box like this. In the box you get three access points. Each access point comes with a mounting plate which screws on the wall. And the access point then takes a quarter turn to screw it in. The difference between these access points and more traditional access points with aerials is, is these access points are omnidirectional. They're very strong, very powerful, and unlike older points, they can handle up to 200 users per point. The more traditional access points can only handle a maximum of 64 users or devices, and in this day and age, that's very, very important. What you see when you get it out of the box is that the Unify access point only has one single RJ45 network socket. This socket is driven by power over ethernet, otherwise known as PoE. Also included in the box are these. Slightly unusual to some, but these are known as power injectors. The power injectors connect one side off to the network, the other side off to a power pack. This in turn then puts the electricity that's needed to power these up via one cable, making it very easy to locate on a ceiling, on a high up wall where there may be no power, and we'll come to that in just a second and I'll show you how to make the connection. Right, here we have the power injector and we'll connect it up. It takes a cloverleaf style connector which I've already plugged into the mains at the far end. We plug that in. A little light comes on the injector to show it's on. We plug a lead into the PoE side. We plug the other end into the access point. Then a lead from your network into the LAN side. And as you can see, the access point glows orange to say that it's receiving power. At this moment in time though, the access point has no programming. As the Unify access point is part of a much larger system, can be used as a single access point or a multiple access point, it requires a controller to program it up and make it work. You can download the controller from the Ubiquiti website under Unify Controller Software. It's freely available and very straightforward to use. Once it's loaded onto a computer that's on the same network that you're going to put the Wi-Fi on, you'll be given a little icon that then brings up the Unify Controller launch box. We then launch the controller Once the software has been launched, it will try and open the software in a browser window. Because it's unregistered, you'll get a connection that says your connection is not private. This is because the controller software acts as a server on the machine you're trying to configure. When this happens, click the advance button. Down to proceed to because it is safe. OK, after you've hit the proceed button, you'll be given a login box. The login username and password is defined by yourself at the point of loading the software. Once you've entered your administration details, click login. OK, once the software is loaded, you need to go to the top and go to the bit that says add site. You need to put in an ID. In this instance, we'll call it site ID 100 and the name. Click Save. At the top of the software, you'll see that the access point has been picked up and it will say that it's inactive and pending. OK. Right, once the software is up, you need to configure your wireless settings. So go down to settings, up pops a little box, 
go to wireless network and down to the button that says create there you can enter the Wi-Fi name of your current network or create a new one you can put in the security key and as you can see the Wi-Fi access point will go green once that's done click the save button and the access point can then be positioned anywhere on the network and give you full coverage thank you for watching the wire wizard video